This is the story of John Alexander Christie, or commonly known as Jock. Before the war, he worked at Euston Station as a railway clerk. His job was to label parcels of all sizes. With Europe declaring war on each other, the Ottoman Empire allied itself with Germany against Britain. With the promise of adventure and returning a hero, Jock joined the Frisbee Rifles in hope that the war would be over by Christmas. So they set off via boat crossing the stormy seas to land at Gallipoli, Silver Bay, on the 11th of August. The campaign was disastrous from the start. Jock spent his first few days in the trenches, which were being constantly shelled and shot at by the Ottoman forces. On the 15th, the Frisbee rifles attacked the Turkish line. The regiment suffered heavy losses, including Jock, who was shot in the head and neck. He was sent back to London to recover after the failure at the Gallipoli. A year later, after he had fully recuperated, he was sent back to the front at Egypt and guarded the Suez Canal. Rejoining with his regiment, he travelled across the Sinai Desert, only to come under fire at Gaza. In the second battle, Jock saw a third of his friends die in a brutal advance against the Ottomans. On the night of the 20th of December, 1917, the Finsbury's rifles managed to seize a hill of great strategical advantage. Within the battle, Jock managed to single-handedly drive off an attack, defending a trench alone with a supply of bombs whilst under heavy fire. For this brave act, he won a Victoria Cross and lived through the war to be present when the cross was awarded. Kenneth, his son, later said, My father was always extremely reticent to speak about the war in the VC. It was a closed book as far as he was concerned. It was his duty, and he had been recognised for his part and wanted to move on. He had lost a lot of friends in the war.